And b5, we are given this function which is defined as this improper integral from 1 upon x to infinite 1 upon t square cos t dt. Now in the first part, for any x greater than 0, we need to show why this improper integral converges. Now we look for absolute convergence, then we can write this mod fx will be less than or equal to this integral from 1 by x to infinite mod of 1 upon t square cos t dt and mod cos t is less than 1 so it will be less than or equal to this integral from 1 by x to infinite 1 upon t square dt. Now where this integral is minus 1 upon t from 1 by x to infinite so this is nothing but this is x. So clearly this integral it converges absolutely. So that's your first part and the second part says find f dash 1 upon pi if it exists and clearly indicate the basic results you are saying. Now we are given this function fx which is this integral from 1 upon x to infinite 1 upon t square cos t dt. Now if x is unequal to 0 we can use Newton Lebel's formula. So we can write this as f dash x. Now this is minus and it will be 1 by 1 upon x square cos 1 by x and here it will be minus 1 upon x square. Now this minus and minus it cancel and x square will also cancel. So we will get f dash x is cos 1 by x or we can write f dash 1 upon pi will be equal to cos pi and cos pi is minus 1. So answer to this part 2 is minus 1. Now this third part is using the hint or otherwise find this limit h tends to 0 positive fh minus f0 upon h. Now in the question it says f0 is 0. So basically we have to find limit h tends to 0 positive fh minus f0 upon h and it will be this limit h tends to 0 positive 1 upon h. Now f0 is from 1 upon h to infinite 1 upon t square cos t dt and f0 is 0. Now we will solve this question using by bar. So this is first function and this is your second function. Now we can write this as 1 upon h and here it will be 1 upon t square sin t and from 1 by h to infinite limit h tends to 0 and minus here will be this 1 by h from 1 upon h to infinite here will be minus 2 upon t cube and here will be this sin t dt now if we put t as infinite it will be 1 upon infinite and oxidative value minus 1 to 1 so it will be 0. So here we can write this as limit and it will be h sin 1 upon h and we can write this as 1 upon h and then this integral from 1 by h to infinite 2 sin t upon t cube dt and this is actually h tends to 0 positive. Now if h is 0 it will be 0 into sin infinite which is oxidating value minus 1 to 1. So this is 0 and we will prove that this integral it also converges to 0. Now again we will use absolute convergence. So we can write mod of 1 upon h this integral from 1 upon h to infinite 2 sin t upon t cube dt will be less than or equal to 1 upon h and then this integral 1 upon h to infinite mod 2 sin t upon t cube and again sin t is less than 1 so it will be less than 2 upon t cube dt. Now this is 1 by h and will be minus 1 upon t square from 1 by h to infinite. Now this is nothing but this is h and when h tends to 0 positive this integral also it approaches 0. So in this case this entire limit is simply 0.